Hello, today is Wednesday, April 8th, and we are ready for language. Yesterday, our vocabulary word was sinister. Sinister, meaning evil or creepy-like. Um, today, our word is allegiance. 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 Say it with me. Allegiance. Now, where, when we're at school, we say this word every day. How do we say this word every day? I pledge allegiance. Well, what are you pledging? It says allegiance, definition, loyalty to a person or cause. So we are pledging our loyalty to what? I pledge allegiance to the flag. Okay? And and to and we're pledging to our country. He, sentence, he pledged his allegiance to his country. Synonym, devotion, antonym, rebellion. So in our book that we're reading, Echo, Mike has allegiance to his brother. Or better said might be Mike has pledged allegiance in keeping he and his brother together. Um if we go back to Friedrich's story, we say that Friedrich and his father were not willing to pledge allegiance to um, the Nazi party. Um, or we could say that the owner of the harmonica factory did pledge allegiance to the Nazi party to save his factory and the jobs. But I guess here's my question. Is that real allegiance? He signed his name, but did he really pledge allegiance? Let's see. Allegiance is loyalty to a person. So can you... Here's an interesting question. Can you pledge allegiance and not mean it? Isn't that the opposite of what allegiance is? I think allegiance has to be real to have the... to be the word... Um, to be the real word. Otherwise, it wouldn't be allegiance, right? It would just be um, just talk, just an outside thought. It's an interesting thing to think about, isn't it? Okay, today we're going to be adding helping verbs back into our sentences. Remember, this is all review. We've done all this previously in the year, but I hope that as we've gone through this book, page by page, that it has become more solid in your mind and you have these down now and they're becoming easier to label. That's my, that's my hope for you. Okay. So let's look at the helping verb jingle first so that we can know what we're looking at. And in these sentences, the helping verb is going to be the verb that goes with the main verb. And so we're going to make a verb phrase now that we haven't had before, not a compound verb. So there's no conjunction here, but it's a verb phrase, okay? Now here's, let's say the helping verbs together. This is on page 97, and we've done this before. Let's see if you remember it. These 23 helping verbs will be on my test. I got to remember them so I can do my best. I'll start out with 8 and finish with 15. Just call me the mean, lean verb machine. There are 8B verbs that are easy as can be. Am, is, are was and were. Am, is, are, was and were. Am, is, are, was and were. Be, being, and been. All together now, the eight be verbs. Am, is, are, was and were. Be, being, and been. Am, is, are, was and were. Be, being, and been. There are 23 helping verbs and I've recited only eight that leaves 15 more that I must relate. Has, have, and had, do, does, and did. Has, have, and had, do, does, and did. Might, must, may. Might, must, may. Knowing these verbs will save my grade. Can and could, would, and should. Can and could, would, and should. Shall and will. Shall and will. In record time, I did this drill. I'm the mean, lean verb machine. Still. All right. Did you do it with me? Okay, so those are the ones we're looking for that go with the verb. Okay, so we're going to look at page 25 together. We're going to do this together today to review your memories. 
okay? All right, let's look at the first one. The twinkling stars were shining brightly on the clear night. What were shining brightly on the clear night? Stars, subject, noun. What is being said about stars? Stars were shining. Verb, were, helping verb. Were shining how? Brightly, adverb. On, preposition. On what? Oops. Night, object of the preposition. What kind of night? Clear, adjective. The, article adjective. What kind of stars? Twinkling, adjective. The, article adjective. Subject, noun, verb, pattern one, check. On the clear night, prepositional phrase, period, statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, separate the complete subject from the complete predicate. Is there an adverb exception? No. Is this sentence in natural or inverted order? Natural, no change. Okay, so if I were to label our verb phrase, this would be our verb phrase because it is the helping verb and the verb together. Okay, now in the next sentence, now that we have helping verbs, we have the ability to do what kind of sentence now? We have the ability to do a question, don't we? Because now the question is going to have the helping verb at the beginning of the sentence. Okay, and questions are always going to be what kind of sentences? Think about that. We're going to need it at the end, right? Did you listen to the news after dinner? Who did listen to the news after dinner? You, subject, noun. What is being said about you? You did listen verb. Did, helping verb. I don't want it there. I want it here. To, preposition. To what? News, object of the preposition. The, article adjective. After, preposition. After what? Dinner, object of the preposition. Subject noun, verb, pattern one, check. To the news, prepositional phrase. After dinner, prepositional phrase. Question mark, question, interrogative sentence. Go back to the verb, separate the complete subject from the complete predicate. Is there an adverb exception? No. Is this sentence in natural or inverted order? This is where we have inverted, right? Inverted. Underline the complete subject once and the complete predicate twice. This is inverted because our verb is in front of the subject because we have a question. So we have to identify that full subject and the full predicate. Okay, moving along. Young riders can compete in many events at the local horse show. Who can compete in many events at the local horse show? Riders, subject, noun. What is being said about the riders? Riders can compete, verb. Can, helping verb. In, preposition. In what? Events. Object of the preposition. What kind of events? Many, adjective. At, preposition. At what? Show, object of the preposition. What kind of show? Horse, adjective. What kind of show? Local, adjective. The, article, adjective. What kind of writers? Young, adjective. Subject, noun, verb, pattern one, check. In many events, prepositional phrase, at the local horse show, prepositional phrase. Period, statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, separate the complete subject from the complete predicate. Is there an adverb exception? Is the sentence in natural or inverted order? Natural, no change. 
Number four, the lush green grass will grow rapidly after the heavy, heavy rain. What will grow rapidly after the heavy rain? Grass, subject noun. What is being said about grass? Grass will grow, verb, will, helping verb. Will grow how? Rapidly, adverb. After, preposition. After what? Rain, object of the preposition. What kind of rain? Heavy, adjective. The, article adjective. What kind of grass? Green, adjective. What kind of grass? Lush, adjective. The, article adjective. Subject noun verb pattern one, check. After the heavy rain prepositional phrase. Period statement declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, separate the complete subject from the complete predicate. Is there an adverb exception? Is the sentence in natural or inverted order? Natural, no change. Okay, last one. My parents will go to their reunion on Saturday. Who will go to their reunion on Saturday? Parents, subject noun. What is being said about parents? Parents will go, verb, will, helping verb. To, preposition. To what? Reunion, object of the preposition. Whose reunion? Their, possessive pronoun adjective. On, preposition. On what? Saturday, object of the preposition. Whose parents? My, possessive pronoun adjective. Subject noun, verb, pattern one, check. To their reunion, prepositional phrase. On Saturday, prepositional phrase. Period, statement, declarative sentence. Go back to the verb, separate the complete subject from the complete predicate. Is there an adverb exception? Is the sentence in natural or inverted order? Natural, no change. Okay, now here's what I want you to do in your comments. I want you to go back to sentence four, and I want you to look at this pattern. And I want you to give me a sentence in this pattern. Okay, so I've got two adjectives and a subject noun. I have a helping verb and a verb with an adverb. And I've got a prepositional phrase with an adjective. That's it. So if I were to do a sentence for this one, I might say, The happy little girl let me change my okay the happy little girl will walk quickly down the short driveway Okay, so I've got my two adjectives, I've got my subject noun, I've got a helping verb and a verb, an adverb, and I've got a prepositional phrase. Simple. You can use this for lots and lots of different things. Don't copy mine. Don't tell me about grass. Don't tell me about girl. Come up with something different. Okay? All right, I'll be looking for your sentences.